Hello everybody and welcome back to Star Wars Nights of the Old Republic. Get ready for Philosophy 101 because during all the twists and turns that have happened that are going to happen in the lead up to the investigation, we're going to get pretty chatty about what, what's right and wrong and what constitutes right and wrong and it's pretty great, honestly, <laughs> in my opinion. This one's a little bit shorter because we start the trial um, of like right after this episode. So I didn't want to like have the trial go too long and everything, but yeah. So anyway, um, yeah, just this one. And then the next one, we actually do start the trial. So I hope you guys are ready for some philosophy and I'll be with you in a moment. I don't know if Sunri is innocent. Like, that mystery man showed up and was like, there's more to this going on than you think. But I can't talk to the Republic Embassy because the guy just goes through my star map stuff. Like, the pre-scripted star map stuff. And then I can't talk to the Sith Embassy because I destroyed it. So maybe I screwed myself over. It's a distinct possibility. And something I do on a fairly regular basis in games. Because I overthink, and then I'm like, I'm going to do seven things at once. And then the game's like, G -g 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 -g, and it breaks. And I'm like, no. <laughs> Hopefully all the game publishers won't embellish any of the game trailers like they usually do, but that's asking. Well, I think that lately they've been trying to get away from, like, the embellished trailers. At least some of them. They'll say, made with in-game engine. But you have to... I think it's, it's fair to know that like a lot of times the trailers are made specifically for E3 and they won't necessarily, like they may use the in-game engine but it may not necessarily be representative of, of what exactly is going to happen in the game or what's going to be in the game. So. Alright, time to save again. Shoo. Uh, you did read a hint, but do you want me to say? <gasps> uh, I mean, I do! I want you to t <laughs> <laughs> Yes? Because, I don't know. Yes, I want you to tell me the hint. Because I know there's something fishy going- Haha, <laughs> no pun. Sorry, sorry, Cellcap. Yeah, there's something fishy going on here. And I don't- I, I want to know how to solve it, but the game's not telling me, it's not giving me the info. There is also the point that you can ignore if he's actually guilty or not, and you can focus on the interests of the Republic. There may be more than just, okay, so there's, okay, so there's more, I, I mean, I looked around in the Republic Embassy, and I didn't see anybody else to talk to that was named, but can I talk to other or the computer? I could look at the computer. Because I have access to the computer. Mm. And if there was info in there about... The... Any sort of mission that he was on, maybe? How could he, like... He, he seems to really dislike the Sith, though. So how could he have had an affair with one, you know? You know all the outcomes since you've played this game. At times, you want to see what I choose. Well, I'm, 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 I'm a little bit worried now because Rain has said that the, uh, that they don't, they didn't really complete this one very much apparently. Like Bioware didn't finish it. Some stuff got cut. So now I'm worried that I'm trying to chase leads that don't actually end anywhere. Does that make sense? Uh, is this okay? This is the Republic. There's that guy, and I and he doesn't say anything. And there's that Republic soldier, and there's the control terminal, and restricted access, and there's this large computer, and that's it. Okay. Uh. Access. I don't have enough computer spikes. Oh, oh crap. Okay, how do I get computer spikes? I just need one more. Okay, how do you get computer spikes? Beautiful young harlots outweigh prejudices. Yes, this is true. Okay, that wasn't there before. That there was a restricted archives. Okay, now I need to get two. I need to get two spikes. Can you buy spikes? 
Yeah, 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 right, right. Yeah, I'll have to log back in again. Uh, how do you, can you buy those? There's a shop over here. Do I got, I, I gotta do that thing where I go to the, yeah, okay. And then I have to ask, mission? Oh, that was fast, jeez. I was looking at my phone. Spark and Chengdu just Chengdu just played. I think Spark won. Good. I like Spark. I like Chengdu too. Should I be able to get spikes from T3 or a shop? Oh, the little okay. Here's my Gizka. Come here, buddy. Hey, hey. Can I can I have a chat with you? Yeah. Beep beep. Can you give me a programming spike? I got one! And I probably can't get another one, though. Oh, but you can get spikes from a shop as well? Yeah. Oh! Oh! He just, did he just give me two? I thought that wouldn't work like that. I think, I think they're, like, way down here. Maybe. Na, 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 na. How many spikes do I have? Look at all these quest items I've got. I have, wow, okay, okay. Here, I'll, I can, whoa, what did I just do? How am I, I got him, how did I get in first person? Okay. Gizka. I'll pet it. Pet it. Pet, pet. You scratch little critter behind the nubs that pass for years and it coos enthusiastically. Bye. <gasps> yeah! Thanks, Larry, for for hanging around, though. I do appreciate it. It was good to see you after. Uh, it's been a while, so it was good to hear from you. Have a good one. Just like R2-D2? R2-D2 is great. Okay. I was bringing Karth and Jolie. Yeah. Okay. T3 is the greatest. Thank you. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Can I transmit? Yes. Perfect. Thank you, Stones. But I, I feel kind of dumb. Like when I came here the first time to try to, talk to try to talk to that guy, and then I looked around for somebody to talk to, I saw the computer, and I was like, no, I've already been in the computer, and I didn't see anything about this. But you always gotta triple check. Access restricted data. Downloading Sunry Sunry Incident Archive! Whoop, whoop! Whoop, whoop! Take the little robot? Maybe I should. The computer screen switches to a fisheye view from some sort of small surveillance device on a wall. A beautiful young woman enters that room, followed by a much older man. It like it was like just going on its own. As she walks farther into the room, he softly closes the door, pulls a blaster, and shoots her in the back. <laughs> he did it! Oh my gosh! This must be some sort of secret recording of Sunry murdering Alasa. Why? And how could she not tell that he had those intentions? She was a Jedi. Oh my gosh! He did it! He did it! He did it! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! <laughs> you found data recorded that Chloe just started killing the Sith woman Alasa! How can you continue your role of arbiter impartially knowing that your client has committed such a crime? What do real world lawyers do? when their clients have committed a crime. They don't want to perjure themselves. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> the DK, how's it going? I saw your name pop up earlier and you were playing, you were playing the game. They ask for more, right? I mean, that's yes, you're right. It's exactly what happens. They just, lawyers are like, Cool beans, just give me more money. <laughs> Doesn't matter. 
Oh my gosh. They are required to turn over the evidence. The Black Fem Geek's like, let me tell you what they're actually supposed to do. Uh, and they do their best to get their client the best deal, even knowing what they've done. All right. So, like, not the death penalty. Uh, now I'm in shock and I have to go stare at the ocean for a minute. I'm like, oh, God, Jolie. Jolie, your friend, he did this thing. He did this. Jolie, what do you think about this? Got something on your mind? Your friend committed murder! What? You think because I'm a hermit, I've always been a hermit? Just because I haven't seen Suddenly for 20 years doesn't mean he's not a friend. A man could have changed a lot in that span of time, though. But to become a murderer, oh, I can't see it. That's not the Suddenly. Although... I, he was a good man. Put me up in his home for a year back after I left the Order. War hero, too. Or so I hear. I wouldn't mind helping the fellow if we can. I owe it to him. <laughs> or you can be a young monkey, monkey lizard. lizard. And ignore me, I guess. Well, I don't expect much these days. Um, it's not. I mean, it's still technically murder to just kill somebody. But if he was doing it as a Republic operative, you can't really call. I mean, you, you can call it murder if you want. But like, it's also it's like working. It's like being a soldier, but like more of a spy type thing. You know. If he did this just out of a personal vendetta of some sort, then yeah, it's more murder. But like, when you're a soldier or, in a, or a spy, like it's kind of in the job description that you kill the enemy, you know? Oh, Keiki, hello! How can you stare at the ocean with those goggles? Hey, you know, people have brought that up, actually. Oh. But we get, I think, uh, uh, I don't know what perks these give us. Let's be real. I don't know. My Jedi Force powers allow me to see everything, even though I stuck a microwave on my face. Soldiers are murderers. I mean, technically, yeah, soldiers are. But when you're doing it, like, under orders type thing, there's a whole, I'm pretty sure there's a whole philosophical branch about that sort of thing. Let's be real. Surely. Coming to check in on an old man? But yes, welcome, Keiki. I confess, welcome. Yes, I, I would rather you were here to speak to the warden and begin my trial. Soon, old friend. But we, oh, uh, I, there's a few things I've got to clear go up. Ahead. Like the fact that you're a murderer. I don't know if I should tell him or not. I don't know if I should actually tell him, but... Yeah, uh, well, yeah. It's only... Uh, nah, yeah, you're guilty. So the truth is out. I never meant to kill her, you know. When I found out she was a Sith spy, she using was a young, beautiful woman, and you're an old man. Something inside me just snapped. She didn't know I had found out, so I waited until she fell asleep, and then I, I killed her. Simple, really. But once I realized what I'd done, Simple, I, really. I panicked. To murder I a sleeping woman. I contacted those spies from the Republic to help me. They found the illegal monitoring device that the Sith had planted in the room, altered its recording to hide my part in it. And cleared up the evidence. I figured that was the end of it. Dun dun dun! What class am I playing? What class am I playing, Rain? <laughs> I'm playing the uh, mm, I think the warrior build, the warrior Jedi. I don't really know. I just hit things. <laughs> the Sith found out the truth, didn't they? The Sith must have been spying on me and Alasa, trying to make sure she wasn't a double agent. They must have seen the Republic spies getting it's rid of been all the years. evidence. So they planted their own evidence. Alasa must have stolen that hero's cross from me long what? ago and given it to her Sith you, masters like some kind of trophy. You didn't I notice it was I missing? It. Oh. But when the cross turned up on her body, I knew the Sith had put it there. So, now you know the whole story. What are you going to do? Jedi Guardian? Yeah, that sounds good. I think I'm a Jedi Guardian. I don't know. Does it actually really matter much? Besides, like, the fluff text, like, where one's, like, more diplomatic and more force power oriented. Maybe that's why I don't have a lot of, uh, cool force power options is because I'm a Guardian and I just hit things with my sword. With my lightsaber? The Sith were framing... The Sith... Stonesmith, you bring up a good point. The Sith were framing a guilty man... 
<laughs> I mean, they had to reframe him after the Republic tried to cover it up. <laughs> oh, man. It's like I'm wearing one of those red things as a kid when you pull. Yeah! Oh, I know what you're talking about! Yes! That had, like, you could put, like, little, um, like, like, like pictures in it. They were, like, little circles that had, like, a bunch of little, like, like, still images on them. And you'd, like, click it and you'd see a new image. I remember that! I love the clicky sound that that thing made. Um. I think he's guilty and he needs to be charged as such! I. That's just me! Like, I don't know if Jolie's gonna get mad, but no, you don't, no, he did some, he, no, he didn't kill her because he was mad at the Sith, or because he was doing it on Republic orders, he did it because he was mad that she had betrayed him when an obviously young and beautiful young woman comes to an old man and is like, let me seduce you, and he didn't think for two seconds that it was not because she found him attractive, but because he was a Republic war hero. Although he doesn't even, he doesn't, he apparently, I don't know why she was seducing him, because he didn't know anything. He didn't, he's just a random guy. Am I a con, Stuart? Uh, uh, that's when you get framed for murder, you take a minute. <laughs> They wanted to secure their victory. Look at this. I mean, he's a cute old guy, I guess, but I don't. She was a, if she was maybe a regular Sith, I could see it happening. But she was a dark Jedi. Like, they don't get emotional entanglements. <laughs> You're guilty. You think I'm some kind of monster, don't you? All I did was kill a Sith. How many Sith have okay, you killed? Okay, that's a good point. Dozens, hundreds, he thousands. He a good point. That's different, Sunri, and you. In know a way. It. We don't kill them in cold blood. That's also sleep. a good point. I don't see how the two of us are any different. She was a spy. She was using me to get information so Malik's army could destroy the Republic. She deserved to die. I mean, this is my thing, though, right? Is killing your level while sh lover while she sleeps is murder, even if she's a Sith. Like, I don't know. We can't, like, stoop to Sith levels, right? But at the same time, like, if we don't do some things that require getting our hands dirty, you can't protect what needs to be protected sometimes. You can't always take a moral high ground and, like, expect to win. Obviously, the Jedi tried to do a moral high ground thing, and the Republic was decimated. Pshh! You know, like a 2,000 year old Republic got decimated because the Jedi were like, we're having a moral high ground and nothing bad's ever gonna happen, you know? Why is killing them in cold blood bad? Sounds, I mean, it, 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 it's smart. It's a very Sith thing to do to kill somebody in cold blood. Uh, these things. Are view the oh oh the, the clicky things they're view masters nice I mean she was a dark Jedi and in some ways she probably had committed a lot of crimes and stuff like that so yes in some ways she deserved to die probably but like it's then you, you run into that whole thing where it's like can an individual decide based on their own biases and moral assumptions to like decree a person guilty or not guilty or do you put them in through a system that gets to decide whether they're guilty or not guilty and go through proper channels, you know? So there's, I mean, again, it's like a whole philosophical argument, but yeah. Killing your lover while she sleeps is murder, even if she's a Sith. If I confess, I'm looking at 20 years in prison. And the Otto City officials might even place Colto sanctions on the Republic Embassy. Without Colto, how can we treat don't the try to play to our Don't try to play this line? game with me. Don't try to be like, what about the big picture? You weren't thinking about the big picture when you shot your lover in the back while she slept. You were just angry. <laughs> oh my gosh. They still sell view masters. I didn't even realize that they would do that anymore. You're more worried about the future crime shoot almost death. That's true, Keiki. You're not wrong. We could prevent. And that's why I think Batman should have killed the Joker. <laughs> to bring up a whole other pile of worms. Because the Joker killed and hurt so many people. And Batman was like, I'm on the moral high ground. And I can't kill anybody because I'm the Batman. And I'm a protector. And I don't kill people. And it's like, okay, but Joker's literally killing like a thousand people every time you let him out. Like, just kill him and get it over with. Like, but then again.
again, you kill him, somebody else comes back, you know, you know, you can never really get rid of it, right? Like, somebody else would have taken the Joker's place, and it's like a never-ending cycle, and then you become the thing that you are afraid of, and blah, 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 blah. Um, it's just excuses, Sunri. And yeah, he's trying to play like, he's like, blah, blah, blah. he's like, what about our soldiers? I'm like, don't what about our soldiers, me? Like, boy, you were, no, no. 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 I can't do that. And put the Republic supply of don't, Kulto in don't danger. Don't play no, the Kulto game with me. <laughs> Look, I may have done something stupid. And it may only be worse for my standing by it, but I will not confess. If you turn me in, the Republic will likely no, lose its control. No, because I just I uncovered the Sith, the Sith thing, and then we'll lose the war for they, sure. They'll owe me. Are they you owe going me. to send all those thousands, millions like Taurus, to their deaths just for your? Ah, uh, these are good points, Sunday, though. I mean, this legitimately. This is wrong, and you know it. I am a Jedi. What is it that you expect me to do to defend your actions? You do whatever you have to, Jolie. I know what do I do. Do I let a million people suffer? I also know because of one man. Here. No. I'll rot in here if I have to, but I won't betray the Republic. Do what you have to, but know what the consequences will be. Like, do I let a million people suffer because of one man's, you know, like, rage and love-fueled murder? You know what I mean? His guilt tripping is 100% manipulative, Ford Prefect. You're right. You are totally right. He's, he doesn't actually care about those soldiers. He just wants to stay out of prison. But he's not wrong. Just like killing Hitler may have caused someone worse to take his place. I mean, maybe, yeah. Because there are also theories that he was being manipulated behind the scenes a little bit. Like, I still think Hitler was a really bad person. But, like, there may have, they may have had somebody else step up to take his place, you know? I just basically pointed out why I don't like DC Comics. Yeah, I mean, I've had an issue with Batman for a long time, to be fair. Uh, depends if this Slattenberg is to see the work of it sooner. He's already, I mean, he already, he already has betrayed the Republic in a way. But at the time, I don't think he was thinking about it in Republic, in a Republic sense of like a bigger picture thing. He was killing a Sith, which is not necessarily betraying the Republic. But he did it for the wrong reasons, sort of. Um, he did it because he was angry that he was being manipulated. In the end, as a Jedi, you have to think about the big picture. Yeah, but that's kind of what got the Jedi in trouble in the first place. Uh, no one knows. Oh, yeah, yeah. Not that a nice TARDIS? I wish. Like, am I sitting on the moral high ground saying I need to charge this one man for the crime he committed about killing somebody who was probably ruthlessly murdering other people and possibly getting Colto embargoes? Because also the problem is, is that Sunri didn't have to contact the Republic, but he did. And although maybe maybe the Republic had to cover up its actions because he is with the Republic, so if his murder, which is not sanctioned, like like any violence whatsoever is a bad, bad thing, right? And the Republic would get in trouble for it, even though he's not necessarily with the Republic. But since he contacted the Republic, they had to take action and cover it up. And so now the Republic will get in trouble for trying to cover up a murder. I don't know. Like I feel like I feel like I'm I'm taking like a like a hoity-toity moral high ground to be like I have to charge you for the murder of this one person, or else I won't be able to sleep at night. But like millions of people may suffer although realistically i could ask if the if the game would let me i'd be like hey Selkath, i just basically saved your planet from the sith like i just ba like just now like a little bit ago i saved your planet from the sith so you can't get mad at the republic for this like you can't place an embargo on culto also actually the republic has a secret culto mining facility going on underneath like under the water i don't know if the Selkath would still let them use it though Goody goody Jedi, don't think about the big picture. The big picture leads to anger. Anger leads to glowy red lightsabers. I feel like I feel like the goody goody Jedi is actually do that. They they think about like the small. They're they're supposed to consider the the little people. Like they're supposed to consider each person as an individual and their circumstances, and like 
what because like I feel like Jedi is at least in the movies it's been kind of hinted at that when the Jedi try to try to take too big of a picture when they try to get involved too much in the big picture things tend to go awry but if they can take care of, of one person it's like that whole it's like that starfish like story you know where it's like you throw one starfish into the sea and there's still a hundred on the beach and someone's like well why are you doing that you're not going to be able to save them all and the person's like well i just saved that one you know and then you can save one person it can cause like rippling good effects but it can also cause rippling bad effects because what if you save a serial killer you know i don't know <laughs> you know all the puzzles i know right ford's like ford's like i know exactly all the answers to all of this in the situation you're thinking logically and going for the, the most beneficial solution in terms of numbers is best, but not best for everybody. It's not best for everybody. It's only best, it, it, it's possibly better for a larger number of people. But like, it could also, it could also create like a spiraling effect of bad things that happen. Uh, I, I think I'm going to, um, as impartial as the office is traditionally supposed to be. I know the quiz isn't that important, but it's 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 got a lot of philosophical implications that I find interesting. So here here this guy's telling me that I shouldn't be I, I can't favor my irrational cause, basically, of the Republic. And thank you all so much for watching. Sorry I had to cut it off right before the trial. The trial goes, uh, I don't know, about 15, 20 minutes? Maybe probably less than that. But it was still a little bit long to include in one whole episode with all that other stuff we talked about. So, yeah, next time is the trial. And it, this, this was a really fun quest. So I hope you guys enjoy the outcome. And I will see you in the next one.